Now let's perform a vestibular evoked myogenic potential tests. Near audio allows us to perform different types of such probe, for example, um, cervical vamp, or uh, ocular vamp, and electric vamp. Today we will perform a cervical vestibular evoked myogenic potential test. Uh, this kind of test allows us to evaluate the state of uh, the vestibular nerve and nuclear, in particular inferior ones. And the ocular then allows us to evaluate the state of um, superior nuclear and uh, nerve vestibular. Uh, to perform this kind of test, we need to perform the skin of our patient. Again, uh, we need to use a spiritus napkin to decrease the points of our electrode position. The active electrode we will uh, position on the sternocleidomastoideus muscles in the uh, higher half of the muscle. And on one side and on the other side. The reference electrode we will put on the clavicula. The ground electrode on the forehead. In this test, uh, we don't need a such low level of impedance, for example, such as in uh, auditory brainstem response or cochleography tests. So we mm, won't use abrasive test here. As the electrode, uh, we uh, will use uh, self-adhesive electrodes now, but you can use also cup electrodes. To construct the muscle, patient need to turn the head on the other side and to look down a little. Okay. Be sure that you position active electrode symmetrically. The reference electrode we will put on the clavicula. And the ground on the forehead. Now we're ready to connect the electrodes to our amplifier using alligator connectors. The active electrode, which is situated on the left sternocleidomastoideus muscle, we connect to the first minus channel of our amplifier. Active electrode, which is situated on the right sternocleidomastoideus muscles, we connect to the second minus channel of our amplifier. As you can see, we have only one reference electrode situated on the clavicula. To spread the signal from this electrode to our plus channels, they use special combiner. The ground electrode we connect to the common channel. Before the start of stimulation, uh, we need to instruct our patient how uh, he can construct uh, the target muscles. To construct uh, the left sternocleidomastoideus muscle, I ask you to turn your head to the right and to look down a little. We can see uh, the muscle well. And the same way to the other side. Mm. As the stimulator, in this test, we can use um, headphones or inset headphones, for example. Today, we will use headphones. They are isolated, sound isolated. We can regulate the size. Now we can start our work in nearaudio.net program. Now we are in the program window for this test. We can see uh, parameters of stimulation here, intensity, frequency, 
side of stimulation. Here we can choose the necessary stimulator, for example, headphones as today. Also, we can manage the show traces window here. For example, we can switch off contra curves in this test. We don't need them. We can see here the hardware parameters, filters, sampling, and so on, impedance levels. We can see here the stimulus parameters and change it if you want. If it is OK, press OK. Now um, uh, we put electrodes and uh, we need to check the impedance portion here. We can see that uh, we can uh, make it some better by, for example, by moisturing the electrodes or by decreasing the skin under electrodes. We can see it online. If it is OK, press here, monitor the signal of EMG and teach the patient to construct the muscle. Here you can see the monitor of biofeedback on the EMG signal, then the patient construct well in the green border, you can start the stimulation. Ask the patient to construct uh, muscle the same way during all the stimulation cycle. We can see a good response. Please construct, construct, yes, finished. Repeat to check the reproducibility of responses. We have a good matching, as you can see. Okay, now we can put the necessary markers as P1. Positivity is orienting downwards in our monitor scheme. Here in this table we can see, as here in these graphics, you can see the latencies and the amplitude of responses. We can decrease the intensity and try to search a treasured. Start the acquisition on another intensity. OK, we get till the 85 decibels. On the 85 decibels, we have no response. You can see the latencies and the amplitude in the tables, also averaged EMG, rectified amplitude and samples quantity. Now change the site. Start to teach the patient to construct another side muscles. OK, and start. We can see the good response now, good reproducibility. Okay, overlay if you want. You can see in this table the asymmetric percentage. In normal, it is in uh, fifty percent. It is normal here. Decrease intensity and search the treasured. Here you can see the process of averaging and on the enough intensity in the 85 we don't have a response. Overlay and matched here in the left side or here in the right side visually. You can see that our treasure is 90 decibels both sides, or you can see here that we have good asymmetry percentage, it's normal. Here in this table we can see the graphics of amplitude decreasing, and the treasure is 90. Now we can save. 
if it is the last test, you can make a report. Go here and choose necessary. If you have a list of your own, you can choose it here. We can use full template. It will be colorful and you can print it. You can see here all the curves, all the tables, all the graphics. Make a conclusion and put your site.